We're at Tia's house in Maryland who has a problem with squirrels in her attic. Today we are here to install the Victor, a high intensity strobe light that drives wildlife out of attics. Good morning Tia, how are you doing? Hi Bill, doing well, thank you. Okay, now how long have you had your squirrel problem? Had my squirrel problem for about four years now. I've lived here for five years and I've had the squirrel problem for four. The Evictor is a really powerful, high-intensity strobe light that annoys the squirrel's eyes and makes the attic a place they just do not want to live in. Each Evictor covers 300 square feet. Today we are installing 10 strobe lights in Tia's attic, which is about 3,500 square feet. The squirrels are so annoying. It seems like the nest is right over my bedroom. I can hear them in the morning when they wake up, around 6.30 in the morning. And I hear them when they come in in the evening. So it's, it's very annoying. It scares me sometimes, it wakes me up. It's just, it's horrible. Okay, Tio, let me explain to you why your uh, squirrel problem is so difficult. First of all, they tore down a lot of trees where the squirrels were living, and that was their natural habitat. And you have a very large attic, so once they decide to come in, it's hard. They can go anywhere in the attic and they can ignore traps. And you're backed up right on the woods. So if, if the squirrels are there and they have a hole, they're going to come in. And that's what makes it so difficult for you to get rid of them. This house in particular is very challenging to evict the squirrels. The roof is very high and the entrance hole is also very high. The squirrels can make an entrance hole anywhere along the gutter and soffit. The attic is enormous. Squirrels can build a nest anywhere in the 3,500 square feet of attic space. So about three years ago, I had some wildlife trappers come in and they were supposed to humanely trap the squirrels and relocate them. However, the squirrels, I guess, evaded the traps so much, so they set up lethal traps. So they ended up killing about three to four squirrels. Um, however, about six months later, a new set of squirrels moved in, so it really wasn't effective. They are well established and have been in Tia's attic for at least four years, probably more. Now we're going to install strobe lights in your attic. You have a very large attic, 3,500 square feet, so it's going to take 10 strobe lights to drive the squirrels out. Now the first night you may hear a lot of noise or you may hear nothing. The idea is that it annoys them so much that even after two nights, they can't stand it and they are gone. So you will definitely note a difference in the sound. We want the animals to leave the attic as soon as possible and the squirrels usually leave within two days. The evictor strobes will also evict roof rats, raccoons, possums, skunks, feral cats, and bobcats. It's been a month and we're back. And how did you make out with your squirrel problem? The squirrels are gone, Bill. I can't believe it. Um, ever since that first night, I have not heard any squirrels in my attic at all. That's good. That's what typically happens. After a day or two, they're gone and you have no more problem. You can sleep in on Saturday mornings now. Yes. <laughs> Would I recommend the Evictor to my neighbors or anyone else having a similar squirrel problem? And the answer is absolutely yes, I would. I have tried trapping the squirrels and replacing the squirrels. I've tried boarding up the holes that they've made in my roof. I've tried cutting down trees. None of that has worked. The Evictor is the only thing that has worked. So absolutely, I would definitely recommend the Evictor 